Enduro racing is possibly the most complete form of mountain biking, with the downhills being as difficult as World Cup DHs, and they need the fitness of their cross-country riders to ride the long days. Not only do you need to be really fast downhill, be really fit, there's also a lot of strategy involved. We've got young Enduro World Series star Martin Mays to tell us how to do it. Hey guys. Tell us everything you know, Martin. Come on, let's go. Let's go ride it. So Martin, practice is a really important part of Enduro. You're trying to remember the stages. How many times do you try and ride the stages before you race them? Um, I would say I usually do one practice each stage yeah. because to me I think it's more important to keep energy for the weekend racing. So I usually do one and of course we have the camera to help us um, to remember the stage but um, yeah it's never easy to remember everything but it's more like I try to remember the profile of the race to pace myself on it. So you know that there's climbs coming up and you need to save some energy for those climbs, that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right, Martin, so here we are. We're, we're on a section here. It's really wide, but also very technical. Is this one of the places you'd, you'd stop and have a look and do a little bit on foot? Yeah, of course. As soon as I see something really tricky, uh, I always try to stop, you know, and uh, you know, you can make, if you, you shoot a good line, you can make easily one or two seconds. So um, I think it's really important, but at the same time, you know, we have uh, a few stages to, to, to practice. So it's important to do not stop too, too often. Uh, just, just, just as I say, when you really need it. Yeah. There would be many sections like this, so you don't want to lose too much time. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to do a 10 hour day. So Martin, here we are. We've got a big liaison ahead of us. A lot of climbing, it's quite long. How are we gonna, what do I need to do? Well, I think it's really important to pace yourself and uh, you know, to make it really steady, to keep the energy for the, for the rest of the day. Yeah. And also eating and uh, drinking. What, what would we eat? Have, it depends really. Uh, I like banana and liquor snackies. <laughs> uh, you see, if you, if you go too slow, too fast, you crash. So, um, no, I like, I like bananas and uh, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, drinking not, not only water, of course. Electrolyte? Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, all kind of, of stuff, it's good. What about resting? Do we want to be stopping for a rest, trying to keep our legs fresh, or are we in a rush? Because obviously you're uh, on time as well. Yeah, it's never good to rush. If you have, if you have a bit of time, you can, uh, you can stop every 30 minutes and uh, even two or three minutes makes a massive difference, you know? So, yep. um, yeah, I think in a long day like this, everything is cons. So, uh, yeah, that's how I usually do. I guess any energy that you can save here, you can use on the trail to your advantage. Okay, okay so Martin, we're getting close to the top. Sort of, what do you like to do as you're getting close to here? Yeah, as I'm approaching the gate, um, I usually do sprint or you know spin my legs, like try to get in a routine. So you're trying to get warm, ready, yeah. ready before you get to the top, or do you get to the top and then try and no, get warm? No, before to get to the top, and I usually uh, like to be there f around 15 minutes yeah. before my start time. Um, so yeah, that gives you gives you time to sort of prepare for what the stage might hold for you, and uh, I guess you can rest and forget about the climb that you've just done. Yeah, exactly. It's important also to you know to recover a little bit, and uh, uh, so I think 15 minutes is just perfect. Yeah. It's the start of the stage. This is where the racing happens. This is where it's won or lost. Does your riding change at all from stage one to the last stage of the day? Yeah, I think to me it's really important to make, uh, to do a good stage, uh, especially the first one because it set up your day after and all the stages. So I might try, you know, the first stage to ride 90% of myself and then to build up the confidence to maybe 95 at the end of the, of the day. Right, mine, it's time to race. Three, two, one, have it. So, as you can see, Niels is giving 100% this climb and he might be very tired for the rest of the descent. So now you can see Mark is probably giving 90% uh, 
of himself sprinting when he has to but he's kind of pacing himself after to recover better and he might be way faster on the descent after. Cheers Martin, some awesome tips there. Pleasure. So you have most of your events are a two day event. Would you be looking to maybe save a little bit of energy on the first day, ready for the second day, or 100% both days? I will send that course on both days. Uh, you know, you have, you have overnight to recover on Saturday night. So um, yeah, I always try to finish on the course on, on the last stage and uh, yeah, give everything at the end of the weekend, yeah. So that's it for how to race enduro with Martin Mays. And if you would like to see more videos with the pros, you should click down here to see how to manual rollers with Brendan Fairclough. And if you click right up there for my how to train for enduro, I can probably get some more tips off Martin for that then. Or click on me to subscribe to GMBN and give us a thumbs up like. Thumbs up like. Thumbs up like.